Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google is busy rolling out the early stable release of Google Chrome version 113. And that's now available for a small percentage of users, with the majority of people getting the release next week at the normal scheduled date. So if we head to the calendar, today we are on the 27th. Uh, the early stable started rolling out late yesterday in my region on the 26th. And if we head into May, um, we can expect, I would suggest, that the the official stable release of Chrome version 113 will roll out next week, Tuesday, the 2nd of May. Now, um, if we just head up to the menu, help about Google Chrome, and most um, users, including myself, will, will would have not received the early stable. So we are still currently on version 112, but nonetheless, um, when it does roll out, it will be version 113.0.5672.63 for Windows and Mac users. So that's the next stable release, which should roll out over the next week or so. And Google has said that they are making this change as mentioned previously, to monitor the release before it rolls out to all users to address any issues with um, the browser while the impact is small. Now, although um, I haven't received, uh, like most of you, um, we haven't received the early stable, um, we can go through a couple of features um, according to the um, Chrome platform status as more or less what to expect. And this is by no means a comprehensive list and is not an official list because obviously um, this could change when Google does roll out the official release of version 113. Now, if we just um, hop over to Chrome Canary, which is the preview version, and um, we can have a look at some of the features expected to roll out next week uh, in the preview version. And as I've mentioned, um, uh, Google is busy rolling out a major Chrome desktop redesign called um, uh, the um, Chrome Update for 2023, where we are getting a UR refresh for the browser. Um, which is getting more rounded corners and material U redesigns. So I would expect um, to start seeing more elements of that, um, which will flow into Google Chrome version 113. As I have been posting, we have, um, as you can see, some of the toolbar icons and buttons have received a visual redesign. Uh, the menu has um, received a, a redesign with and more padding and spacing and icons and some extra options and features added. So I think as Google starts rolling out more stable releases, we will get little uh, UR tweaks making their way into the browser. Now, a feature um, that we could get is regarding extensions. And I have posted on this previously, but um, as many of you may know, some extensions can break websites. So we could be getting a toggle. So if I just head over to my YouTube channel just to activate the extensions. And this I'm just demonstrating in a Chrome Canary. But as mentioned, this could be rolling out next week with version 113. Um, we get this new extensions menu where you can actually toggle off all extensions. Um, if you are having uh, issues with um, your extensions on a certain website, if they are breaking websites. So that will be a new toggle for the extensions button. And uh, um, Moving on to the next, another feature we can expect to see uh, is a note-taking option. So if I just head over to Wikipedia to demonstrate and we just highlight some text, any text, and we right-click, here we get Add Note. And that will now open up in the side panel where you can take a note for that relevant um, article or web page. And this is quite handy if you are doing research as an example. And if we head to the menu, in the side panel, you can actually see that notes is actually part of that um, drop down fly out menu. And that could be a new option rolling out next week in version 113 of Google Chrome. And by the way, some of these new features could be hidden behind experimental flags, but that hasn't been um, that hasn't been officially um, confirmed yet by Google. And then also, um, just to mention this quickly, uh, Chrome version 113 will also make it easier to clear autofill items on the, the de on the uh, desktop browser. So they will be adding a trash can icon next to uh, entry. So currently in the stable version, version 112, if you want to uh, get rid of autofill, arc, um, autofill um, entries, you click on the X. Now this could be um, replaced with a trash icon. So that's a bit of a UR tweak. Uh, and just to make it easier to identify those 
um, autofill items that can be deleted. And then just to make a quick mention, we also may be getting some privacy sandbox improvements because uh, Google is trying to um, phase out third-party cookies. So there could be some privacy sandbox tweaks and changes coming regarding privacy and security. And over and above that, um, as always, we can expect to see security fixes roll out for Chrome version 113. So that's just a quick overview as more or less what to expect. As mentioned, not confirmed and not official, but um, just to give you a general idea, and this can change um, rolling into next week when we do get the official release of Chrome version 113. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.